Joining us now from University of North Dakota, head women's basketball coach, Mallory Bernhard, student athletes, Melissa Lee and Casey Barovich. Just a reminder for everybody, we'll have questions potentially in the main and on Zoom. Um, they will state their name and affiliation before they ask a question. Our format will be, we'll go with an opening statement from coach and questions to the student athletes. Go ahead, coach. Yeah, um, well, this is one of those tough moments, I think. Um, you sit there and you, you look at the game and you say, wow, we, we prepared ourselves. We, we thought we played the game that um, we wanted to play for the most part. We wanted this score to be around here. And it is what it is. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. But when you look at the big picture um, of the season, the fact that we're even sitting here, I think is something that only the people in our locker room saw happening. Um, picked ninth, finished fifth, had a great run in the middle of the season um, and, and showed, showed some growth. And honestly, it's, um, it's a tough pill to swallow. It's a tough pill to swallow. You, you walk into every game, you see what our team's capable of, and you think you're going to walk out um, on the right end of it. And this team has been really fun to coach. Um, it's kind of fun playing the underdog. It's kind of fun having doubters. And um, I'm not sure we'll have as many of those in the future, um, but it was, it was a fun season. And I think every one of the girls was fully invested. Um, and I, I see them continuing to be that. Unfortunately, we lose a good one here to the right of me. Um, but this team's gonna come home. They're, they're a great group and we showed a lot of growth and we know that there's a long ways to go. And I think we're ready to fight and battle for it. We'll now open it up for questions for the student athletes. Michael Paul with the Summit League. Melissa, just talk about your time at UND. You're a senior leader out there. Just talk about what this program has meant to you. Um, it's been quite five years because my first year we were in the big sky. So going from that league, moving into the Summit League my sophomore year, and that I remember we won our first game there and then moved to the semifinals. <laughs> um, and so it's a cool feeling to know, like for like previous tournament appearances, what it is like to win at least one of those games. So like, I don't know, it's just been unreal. I couldn't ask for anything else. Casey, just talk about the difference from last season to this season. Obviously, you guys didn't make the tournament last year. You guys were prepared to finish ninth, ninth this year, and now you're the fifth seed. Just talk about uh, the difference in the years that Mallory took over as a full-time head coach. Well, last year, for every team in the country, I mean, it was really difficult, um, the COVID year. For me personally, it was also really difficult. I think I appeared in nine games, um, a lot with, like, limited minutes and stuff. So I just felt like I didn't even – it was so hard to even just get on the floor for me last year with injuries and stuff. But this year has been one of the most fun years of basketball I've had in a long time. Our team, we have such great chemistry. Everyone gets along. I mean, these are the best girls I've ever played with. And so I think we just did so well because we had so much fun together. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, to answer your question, last year is just – we don't even think about last year. <laughs> It's fair case. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, thanks, ladies. You can head back to the locker room. All right, questions for coach. Casey scored just one point in the first half. She scored 12 points in the second half. What was uh, working for ORU and, uh, and helping her uh, contain her all, uh, for the second half? Yeah, we knew coming in that they were going to put all eyes on her. We really saw that down in Tulsa, that um, anytime she was coming off a screen, a ball screen, anything, they were collapsing three to four people on her. Um, and we, we knew that was coming, um, and it did. And that's where in that first half, you know, she was more of a distributor. Um, we just unfortunately couldn't quite knock down shots. And we had a lot of turnovers too, especially in transition. Um, but the second half, we worked a little bit more to get her some handoffs, um, just, just some action so that we could get the ball in her hands going downhill um, and maybe take away a little bit of help side. Any other questions? Okay. All right, thanks coach. Yeah.